Greetings. Three, four, five. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz Jr. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to all world leaders, CC, all life in existence. I have some final terms, a final judgment. I think in terms of those who stand final judgment needing complete destruction been working this over trying to pull it together the torture is endless and the units of the torture by the species are just so tremendous it's unbelievable here's what I was working on today with this crazy sun pattern where it what is that like it, it rises in the north going north to south and then hits about uh, the top of the horizon sky and hits uh, east to west and then and then stops going west after being directly overhead and, and goes back to the north to set um, I thought maybe my year here is the species day I'm just, I'm just working stuff over and um, then if I'm actually putting up with a year's worth of traffic a day it somewhat makes sense it was far fetched alright with this issue I'm having, I wonder how clear it is. I mean, here it must be clear. How many people have to scoff law at me? It's, you know, a God's law, sovereign, human, or so, sovereign life form. Um, I'm just going to start working out these units of the priorities of the species to do this. I just need one proper quarantine unit. One proper quarantine unit. And then the rest of the species can have all of this. I care not. One proper quarantine unit for all I. That's all I need. I just need one proper quarantine unit for me. For only me. Totally controlled by me. Everything I need. By my terms. Val validated by a god king like you, you, President Putin. Now, what's going on here in society, right, where I have to see like 4 million people every, every 35 hours or something, and all of them attack me, and they, they, think, they think they have some special set of rights, it's a special sort of species, some rights to be inalienable, to alienate all rights, inalienable, if they should so choose, like my rights. Inalienable. They totally alienate. They, they almost alienate all of at all times. Like this. Like this. This. This fit. This fit. It's just, it's just endless. 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 Uh, I'm going to talk about them not staying in quarantine next. But right now, I'm just trying to break this down into the terms of the most degenerated, demented minds that are capable of this. There's one of them over there. I, I'm having some time in the park. With my bubble not broken by these disease spreading walking corpses. I, have to, I don't have it worked into the perfectness. Uh, are you here because why I am here? I keep telling them, I don't understand why you're here. In the terms you must have to tell me why you're here I don't have any place better to be than here why would you be here if you had any place better to be than here are you here why I'm here am I here why you're here why would you be here if you had any place else to be. I'm only here because this is the only place I have to be. <sighs> there is this ultimate attrition price to pay for these people who have quarantines who won't stay in them and having conditions like I who will stay in quarantine. Who can't have one. They're attacking me really hard now. 
hurting my thought process greatly. I have more points to make. I'm going to try to get to them. But any time, it's just any time they don't like stuff. That's reality. They can't handle because they're detached. They try to destroy it. Even ideas. So here's my terms. Today, begging you, Vladimir Putin, to play God and bring the acts of God we need here. They are an unstoppable force of nature at this point. This is a force of nature level scofflawing of every instance of encoded genetics. This is clearly genetic engineering by any and all means. If it's this simple stuff to achieve, as we've seen, these sort of genetics break down to over the eons of their existence breaking down in the many, many ways they can. They've engineered it, so they broke into this. One and all, pure, plain, and simple. If I can't have one proper quarantine by my terms, you can validate. We have to destroy all life support for them. All of them and everything they are and need so that they're not alive, they have nothing to survive with, and there is nothing they can ever want or need left from there while we will never again have anything that affords their existence, especially this way. These are simple terms what's going on here and how to begin to correct it. My terms for your work you're, you're a gracious God at while I am in the long suffering I'll never lose faith in God as God can express through our sovereign state of existence is well, and I reference here squirrels, birds, rats, plants. By any and all means, we can have, at the end, more survivable conditions than we have now. Used. No restraint. And all of it, at all times, in all ways, of the maximum use possible to achieve this restitution from the state of these survivors having survived in the name of the corporations that have died, or that are pretending to survive. So that the survivors are creating survival for us who don't die of unsurvivable conditions. If you're living in unsurvivable conditions, and all the survivors do is make further unsurvivable conditions for us and they. And all we ask right now. is as for I, the birds the rats and the squirrels who sort of think there are chipmunks in there or not I wish they would show maybe the plants plants are different, we need plants one quarantine unit by our terms, on our terms for us alone I alone, in human terms totally alone I only in control of totally on my terms, completely validatable, in all ways, of my need for them, you can validate that simple, sovereign terms cannot be broken apart. It can be sovereign. It can be stated in any order. It makes sense. 
and then they can have this scenario, like their movies, they seem to be going through. They have all seemed to have homogenized to an encoded, hard-coded, conditional logic state of existence of we cannot be a part of. We all agree. I cannot be a part of this. They won't stop showing up. Trying to scoff law at me. The way I'm not a part of what they are. I'm God's will as a sinless servant of God. Never sinning, never committing crime. They are all crime at all times, as best possible, of the ultimate ill will, of the scoff lying, of God in all ways. Having been concentrated in the terms of their expressions of crime and inbreeding, and having placed I in a class, there's a side with not I alone in, of completely innocent victimization. I'm a completely innocent victim here. And they are all the crime they can be with absolutely no justice to control. Like again, again this is just this endless, absolute logic, completely retarding any humanity. It's almost like there's no sense in them. They just endlessly scoff law. You know, you know it's just, he shouldn't be heard. Deafen them all. Don't let him talk. Spite out the language. I need to pull that down. I'm going to pause this. Invade his space. Anywhere someone there is, anywhere there is someone, there needs to be ten of us. It's endless. There's this place I can go to. Right. Don't want them destroyed the way they deserve by all justice code. It's this place we can have this compromise. All segregate. We won't segregate them all as the rules are in the city state. All segregate into one proper quarantine unit of my terms. Completely validatable of a sovereign nature that always has to hold together to be valid and sovereign. Of only I in the quarantine, that only I control on my terms alone. And they can have this, they have. And I can be out of it. And stop being this token of a victim enabling them the crime of victimizing me and my innocence. These are final terms. They can't cope with this and make a statement other than they just need to be destroyed to be controlled. This is the top level term. They must be removed from existence all ways they exist and existence must be changed to seize all existence that they exist as and of. I've been sounding off a lot today. I just I just I just cannot take much more of this. I, I don't know where I'm going. I believe I'm sleeping and we're in a different place than you. And I'm destroying the whole planet. And I just get the moments of peace to alter my consciousness to a rest state. And I, I, I sense all this being annihilated away. In a special way. I'm finding peace with what occurs around I. And in every way I'm checking, after I return from this state of consciousness, like a state of sleep, there's all the evidence I need to show I have completely destroyed their planet over what they've done to me every day at my rest time 
I sleep. It's my only way of coping. It's the only way I can have the peace to have the rest for the sleep they force me. Here we go. Here we go. They just passed by. They had to get through the park. They had to scoff law so much. They had, to, they had to photobomb on camera. They had to yell in my ear. They had to yell at my mic. They had to draw my attention as much as they could. They had to hit this state where I just had to attend to wanting it stopped. And now they have spited bugs to rain down on me in their dying state of being poisoned to attack me in their poisoned state. Every time, as sure as the sun rises, this has happened since they moved on me here. It took about 36 hours for them to have all their systems in place after I got to this place. Every time I bed down, I'm attacked by so many bugs. The bugs need the same fate as them. And there's, there, there's just so many conditions here. Every time I hold my peace and I can, I can thwart their, their scoff lying at me, within the victimization of me I can handle without trying to control besides so holding at peace to try to hold it at peace they escalate and any of them I can hold from attack because it's imminent death for them just want to find further means to be more vile weaponized violent forms of attacking me so in the news today, this species creating this artificial heat wave has murdered our livestock. So many cattle murdered in this artificial heat. We've had so much livestock murdered today, or yesterday, in the news today. Of all the family names that link through for it to be their food in their food chain, there is no way any of the food in the food chain will survive this season at this heat level. Short of a miracle of this season turning to the coldest summer on record on the planet. They keep trying to get these hard-coded, conditional logic, degenerated, demented, inbred monsters understand these unsurvivable conditions are going to be their total mass murder of their species. It's almost for sure short of that miracle with these heat conditions their physical makeup will go into heat, heat stroke it's not official heat. So heat stroke isn't the official term. It's the term to use. They're going to fall into grand mall seizure strokes. And they're going to spasm and stroke, destroying their body, possibly breaking their spines, detaching their muscles, breaking their teeth, detaching their tongue from the bottom of their mouth, spasming to keep their breathing going, as the stroke blood clots destroy their brains in the way their automated functioning survival their heart and breath rates will be destroyed the standard case being they will have to consciously breathe to survive and as they fall out of this they will seize and spasm the way that keeps the breath moving till this cycle ends and they're murder themselves and all of the life in the circle of life put to death by their murder of their livestock required in the food chain that will all surely die this season because of the murder of the livestock they've already achieved. This is sort of God's mercy started. We need mercy. 
all I ask, all I ask for my compromise, there is no way to deny without invoking an act of God that removes the idea they are from existence in all ways so it can never exist again is one proper quarantine I will hold in until they're gone for good if need be by my terms on my conditions for I alone with all of my birds my rats and my squirrels and my plants with the plants being a stretch goal maybe there's chipmunks maybe there's not I have no proper deals with them such that we can segregate they can stop at every time interacting with us victimizing us to the maximum the species is capable of without snapping us to defense of it I beg mercy I place the duty on you President Putin to bring these final terms to them to get some sort of response I can barely communicate with them. There is no way for them to deny this compromise without it triggering the absolute enforcement of them being removed from existence in every way they exist such that they can never exist again. Sir. Sure.